Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I'm going to get into a video on atomic bombs versus hydrogen bombs. Now, as far as that goes, let's get into the TLDR version. So, hydrogen bombs or H-bombs or thermal bombs versus atomic or A-bombs. Well, what is the actual difference? The first difference is simply the cost. The cost of an atomic bomb is a lot cheaper than a hydrogen bomb. The manufacturing time and energy to make a hydrogen bomb is also a lot more. But the hydrogen bomb is smaller. It, it can be smaller, so you can put it on a rocket and launch it a lot further, especially if you're something like North Korea. They simply just don't have the technology to go over and, and launch because more pounds you got, well, the, uh, the shorter distance you have or more money. And last is hydrogen bombs are a lot more deadlier. And I'll show you some video footage in a second. So as far as that goes, um, I, I, I just want to mention that with North Korea, what is the likely that they would have a hydrogen bomb and multiple hydrogen bombs? Well, them having one, it's probable. But them having multiple is unlikely, it's, it's severely unlikely after you get rounds two or three of them. It's just simply the cost and how hard it is to manufacture a single one. In North Korea, it doesn't have the infrastructure to simply make a whole list of them. Now, one thing to note also is we in the United States have been in negotiation with North Korea since 1992. In over the past couple years, more so in the past decade or so, the um, North Korea has been basically doing these threats. We give them money, and it turns out they're actually using that money to buy materials and to make the uh, test sites and stuff like that. Because keep in mind, most of these test sites take two to five years to make, and the bombs itself takes a very long time, let alone the facilities and stuff like that. So note that that's also how they're getting the stuff because we are basically bribing the bully to stop being a bully. But now it's kind of bit us on the ass. So yeah, now we, you know, can't do that anymore because it's going to get worse. So as far as that goes, let's get into the destruction purpose of it. So as far as the destruction between a hydrogen bomb and a atomic bomb, well, a atomic bomb, as you can see here, is nothing when it comes to a hydrogen bomb. It's about 10 times more deadly. Now, and it, it, it gets even worse. And like a hydrogen bomb, uh, so as far as an atomic bomb, how it works is um, it uses fission, uh, if, I, if I mispronounce it, sorry. But basically, it splits apart atoms and then it has a chain reaction going down the line. Whereas a hydrogen bomb, it uses fusion. Now, note with this that a hydrogen bomb uses a um, atomic bomb within it. See, the primary is the atomic bomb itself, and the secondary is the hydrogen itself. See, what happens is basically you have a atomic bomb w within that, and it's splitting apart atoms, and then it hits an area that it fuses with. Normally around the atomic bomb, you use deuterium or tritium. And those two elements, they, both of them be on there, they smash into each other, and they create helium. Same type of effect that happens in the middle of our sun. But that only happens at 50 million degrees Celsius, hence the name of thermal bomb. And the thing is, is how it works is the x-rays from that, it actually targets the hydrogen. And since it's going at speed of light, it actually d it deals with that before the overall bomb explodes and really doesn't have as much of an effect. Now, the thing with this this process actually releases more free neutrons and basically you can have a layer effect where it gets deadlier and deadlier and deadlier. But the thing is, is when it gets to a certain point, why do you want to, you know, make it deadlier? How much of a dead thing do you want to have? And to be clear that there has been designs of seven layers 
in I don't think it's ever been built, but I think three or four layers has been built. Just real quick, the lines that are going up next to the atomic bomb blasts on those tests, those are rockets that are launched up before the explosion. What this is, is they're doing a test and they want to see how the air is working around the explosion. Since you cannot see air with your eyes, well, this is the best thing because you have rockets that have a trail going up and therefore you can actually see how the blast moves the air around it. You would never see this for a hydrogen bomb simply because how big the explosion simply is. It's just too deadly and, and it's too big.